Hi, I'm Anupa and I welcome you to Sanjeev Kapoor Khazana. And what am I going to show you today? Let us go back to Amar Shonar Bangla and make their very, very famous Begun Bhaja. Begun Bhaja, if you literally translate, which means fried bengan or bengan which is fried. Bengan which means aubergine, eggplant, brinjal and it is fried with certain spices and it is served as an accompaniment with dal and rice. So in a regular Bengali household, if you are eating rice and dal, this begun bhaja or any bhaja for that matter, sometimes it is alu bhaja, sometimes it is ucche bhaja, ucche bhaja which means karela, bitter gourd which is fried. So some fried item is always a part of the rice and dal combo. So today this simple recipe is there for you and uh, you can surely try it and don't forget to have it along with your dal and rice. So here it is begun bhaja. So for begun bhaja we need a big brinjal, salt, turmeric powder and red chilli powder and oil. So while the pan is getting hot and I will put some oil in it. A lot many people I know who deep fry the begun for it to go crisp. We will try and not deep fry it and use lesser oil as you would use otherwise. So the oil has to be very very hot. But in the meanwhile, let's take the brinjal. If it's a fat brinjal like this, first you get rid of the head. And these pieces have to be thick. And you see the brinjal is so amazing, it doesn't have seeds at all. So till about this thick pieces is what you need to cut. Once you go to the fatter part, cut it into half and then cut this further. Don't cut it too thin because we want the brinjals to have some firmness in it at the same time. So this is the thickness that you need to cut it. So now in a bowl, take some salt, turmeric powder and some red chilli powder. So you have to actually rub this over the brinjals nicely. So now while you start applying the masala, you will realize that it has all got absorbed and the brinjals are slightly moist. It's only because we put salt to this and now it is all so well coated. Now if you want you can leave this in the masala for about half an hour and then fry it. But as soon as you fry it and it is ready you have to serve it immediately. So what generally the Bengali women at home do, they cut, they put the masala and they leave it aside. And when everybody is about to start eating their bhat or dal, that's when they put it in the kadhai. So that is how you should also do. So you put the masala, leave it in the fridge and only when you are ready to eat, bring it out and fry. So you see the oil is also got hot here. Now what we will do is we will place each piece like this. So the entire oil as you can see has been absorbed by the brinjal. But don't worry it will again leave it back in the pan so you don't need to add more oil here. So just turn and let the other side cook well. You may have to do this two to three times till you are satisfied with the begun bhaja. Okay, so you see the brinjals are done and now whatever excess oil that you can see in the pan is something that the brinjal is leaving out. So what you should do is just leave the brinjals on the side like this. And you can put some more at the same time in the pan. So I've left the four begun bhajas on the wall of the pan for the excess oil to drip out and at the same time with that same oil the remaining pieces are going to get done and they're going to go soft in the center and the skin is going to be slightly crisp. It is such a divine combination believe me you have to make masoor ki dal just plain simple tempered masoor dal steaming hot rice and about two to three pieces of begun bhaja per person you will easily gulp it down and you will be very very satisfied. It is a brilliant combination, do give it a try and let me know how you like it. I am 
sure you all love our recipes. So to stay connected, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel Sanjeev Kapoor Khazana.